Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on my channel. Many of you asked me if I can make a full day of eating and I actually already did that on our main channel Majestic Bros in my diet. So many of you may have seen that maybe. Right now I'm maintaining my calories, so it's a bit different. I eat a lot more. It was very spontaneous for me. It was a day during the week, just a normal day in my life and I tracked everything that I eat. Actually, I didn't really track my calories because it was almost the same every day. And I enjoyed it after my diet that I don't have to look on the exact numbers and calories. It was like for a month that I was just eating actually the same every day, a little bit different, maybe 100 calories tolerance every day, you know what I mean? So maybe in one day 100 calories more, maybe in one day 100 calories less, but yeah. Today is Saturday and the day after tomorrow, so on Monday, my bulk begins officially and then I will track every calorie exactly because I will make a lean bulk. I will do, if it fits your macros, I will look on the calories exactly again. So that's very important if you want to stay in shape, track your calories, take an exact look on your calories, keep them in mind and then you're on a very good way because only with a slight calorie surplus you can make a lean bulk that is effective back to the topic i will show you the full day of eating i'm starting with my breakfast and i didn't record my speaking part because i was very busy in the morning my mornings are always very busy because yeah it's it's stressful i get up and then i have like 45 minutes to get into the bathroom make my porridge, eat my porridge, get ready. And yeah, I didn't have the time to record anything, but I filmed how I made it. And I will tell you what I was eating there. So that's actually my famous porridge. I made it with altogether 100 grams of oats. And then after that, I added 100 grams of rice flakes. So that's the first step. Then I will add, okay, I will mix it together and I will add some oat milk on top. So it's altogether 250 grams of oat milk and the rest is water on top. I just put some water on top. Then I put it in the microwave, 800 watts for five minutes. And yeah, during that five minutes, I go into the bathroom and get ready for the day. So that's actually the best time saver. And yeah. During that, I also prepped my shake for the work. So for those who don't know, I work in an office job, like six hours a day, half time. And yeah, I prepped my, I prepped my meal. It was 30 grams of HydroWay from Process. It's actually HydroWay Zero because it's much better for my stomach. Um, I am lactose intolerant, so I take the Zero version because it's just better for my digestion. I feel very good with it and I can suggest it to everyone. So check out process called RNS. I also mix this shake with oat milk, also 250 grams of oat milk. So then I put that out of the microwave and I'm adding some berries. It's altogether 150 grams of mixed berries. Also 800 watts, two minutes, 20 I think. I add the zero diet way from process. It's almost the same like the zero hydro way, but it tastes a bit different. I have it in vanilla flavor, so also very good. It has slightly a bit more proteins. I think it has 92 grams of proteins on 100 grams, and the other one has 90 grams on 100 grams. So very, very good extracted. And yeah, then I just mix it up with my oats and my rice flakes. After that, I add some peanut mousse. It's actually 25 grams of that. That's my fat source in the morning. Tastes amazing in the porridge. Then I add the berries on top and I add one banana. It's around about 80 grams of banana, an average banana on top and some cinnamon. So that's pretty it. I have the stats here for that meal. That's altogether 1,251 calories. 63 grams of proteins and 26 grams of fat. So it's a very, very good start in the day and tastes amazing. I really like it. I eat it every morning. When I really don't have the time, I put the exact same ingredients in my mixer and make a shake out of it so you can drink it. it it's much faster. And if you're in bulk, it's also a bit better because you're not that full. Okay guys, I just came home from work. 
And now it's time for lunch. So I had um, porridge in the morning and then at work I had a shake and that was it so far. And now I'm making my lunch, so that's the next bigger meal. And I already prepped a lot. So the only thing that I'm making now is the vegetables. It's one kilo of mixed vegetables. And I'm always prepping it for two days. And what I have prepped yesterday is already my carb and my protein source. And that's here in the fridge. 200 grams of chicken, very basic. A big problem is our fridge is completely full as you can see it's absolutely full because the rest of my family so there's some space now but yesterday it was completely full and what I do then is I just put my pasta outside so the weather is really cold actually at the moment because it's going to be winter and it's cold enough to cool down the pasta so it's actually like a fridge but a natural fridge yeah and that's 250 grams of pasta altogether and the half of it is for now and the other half is for dinner so for the evening and yeah sometimes I also use rice so it's actually um, on one day I make rice, next day pasta, one day rice, next day pasta. I always change a bit, but yeah, pasta and rice are my main sources. And yeah, I will eat this with chicken and mixed vegetables. I will show you how it looks when it's ready to eat. One last thing I forgot to tell you is my tomato sauce. I will show you how I make it. That's actually just pure tomatoes, um, which are liquid. And this comes in here. I will take some olive oil. I take two teaspoons of olive oil. Also really important. Of course the basics. Some salt. Some pepper. Really just like this. It's maybe one gram. But sugar makes the taste of the tomato stronger, so um, in every good tomato sauce you should add some sugar, just a little bit. The last thing I add is also something I really like, it's just some balsamico. And if you mix all this together you have an amazing tomato sauce. So yeah, that was my lunch. Here we have the stairs, 2224 calories, 74 grams of proteins and 22 grams of fats. Also very good stats, tastes good, I really like it, but yeah, it's actually much more than I thought. I, In my head I always thought it's less calories than 1200, because it doesn't feel that much. But really interesting, because I'm tracking this for the first time and it's actually really my maintaining. So yeah, I'm a bit surprised that it's so much calories, I thought it's less. Okay, I'm back in my kitchen. I just came home from my workout. It was a very long workout. It's now, I think, six hours after my last meal and I will have my post-workout meal now. I'm very, very, very hungry. Workout was much longer than I thought. It's always the same. I was shooting some pics with Ruff and yeah, everything is always longer than I plan it. <laughs> but it's fine. And um, what I will have as my post-workout meal is the following I will show you. Here's my pasta, that's um, the other 125 grams of pasta that I had. And I will basically make the same tomato sauce than at my lunch. I will add 150 grams of tuna and that's it, that's my post-workout meal. And it doesn't look too tasty but I, I had some time struggles, I had to hurry up and it had to go quick. So altogether it was 748 calories. 55 grams of proteins and 6 grams of fats so also very clean not that many fats because fat makes the intake of your proteins slower and also the intake of your carbs and 
after the workout it has to go in quick so it's actually perfect like that after that i made my last meal for the day i was just hungry i added some rice porridge from process 40 grams some low fat curd 250 grams also very very clean uh, some mixed berries 80 grams and 25 grams of cashews cashews are actually my favorite nuts all together we have 506 calories 41 grams of proteins and 14 grams of fats um yeah very very tasty meal it was amazing and that was actually my full day of eating so now we come to the interesting point i will count my calories and all my stats together and yeah i just did that and i'm really really surprised i didn't think that it's that much because i eat this amount of calories almost every day and i don't put on any weight so i don't lose weight I don't put on any weight it's really actually my maintaining and I'm really surprised that it's that many calories I thought always it's maybe 3500 that that was what I got in my head what's that's actually very much for maintaining I think but it is even more so if we count everything together we are at 3935 calories and we have 264 grams of proteins which is also very much but i really want to make sure that i don't lose any muscles in my maintaining so i eat a lot of proteins i will reduce them in my bulk on maybe 220 i think because that's actually absolutely enough for bulk and especially for my body weight 559 grams of carbs which is also a lot and we have 71 grams of fats so yeah it's a lot more than I expected. I really didn't think that it's that many calories. It just looks like I'm burning a lot of calories during the day. I don't know why it is how it is, but everyone is a bit different there. In my bulk, I have to eat much more to gain some mass. So yeah, really interesting. That's actually already the end of the video. I hope you have maybe learned something from the video. I will also make a full day of eating in my bulk. So. I will show you the differences there, what is different to my maintaining or to my diet. My next bulk will continue a bit longer, I want to make it very lean and maybe next year I won't really make a diet because I just have to put on some weight, I just have to gain some more muscles, that's the goal. I also want to gain some strength, you just have to eat more if you want to gain some more strength. If you want a nutrition plan personally made by me and by Raf, check out Muscle Majesty, we also have our two ebooks there, Nutrition Matrix and Workout Matrix. It's all our knowledge bundled on altogether almost 300 pages. You can learn a lot from it. Check it out. Also check out process code Aaron S plus B week. So my code Aaron S plus B week for maximum discount. You can save almost up to 80%. So it's the Black Friday week. So you can save a lot of money. Check it out. And of course, also check out Jet North for the best gym wear called Aaron S15. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the kind messages I receive every day. So I'm really thankful for that. Keep going. DM me if you have any serious questions. So maybe I need a week or two weeks sometimes, but at a point I go through all my DMs and I will check every of my DMs. Just message me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing week. See you.